Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about differential equations. So now I will show you how to answer. For question number one to question number three, we can use the same technique. So we just have only complementary solution. So I will put about yc equals to e to the power of lambda s. Now if I do first the derivative of this one, we will have about lambda e to the power of lambda s. So we do first the derivative of e to the power of lambda s. You keep about e to the power of lambda s. Later that we do first the derivative of lambda s. You got about lambda in here. Now if I do second derivative, we will have about lambda square e to the power of lambda s. Now, we have this equation, and then I will put this one going here, this one going here, and this one going here. Now, we have e to the power of lambda s, we can do about factorization. Now, we put this one to find the solution of this one. And we have lambda equals to number 4 and lambda equals to negative number 3. Now, we have the final answer. That's about y equals to c number 1. And we have e to the power of lambda s. Now we need to change lambda into number 4. And then we have c number 2. e to the power of negative 3 s. Now we apply same technique for this one. So we just put this one going here. So we can do about factorization by e to the power of lambda s. And then we need to find the solutions of this one. So we have lambda equals to 5 plus i and lambda equals to 5 minus i. So we have yc. Now we can put about y equals to c number 1. That is about constant number 1 e to the power of 5 plus i s and we have C number 2, e to the power of 5 minus i s. So in this situation, we can write into C number 1, e to the power of 5 s, cosine s, and C number 2, e to the power of phi s, psi s, coefficient in here is about number 1, number 1, that's why we have only s and s in here. Now, the next one, we use the same.
So this one that is about this one. And this one does is about this one. Now we have e to the power of lambda s. We can do about factorization. Now we put this one equals to number zero. And now we find the solutions of this one. So lambda equals to 5 over 2 and lambda equals to number 0. And now we have the final answer. So we have y equal to c number 1, e to the power of 5 over 2 s and c number 2 e to the power of 0 s this one you got about 1 so we just write about c number 2 now we go to the last one in this situation I can use about substitution so I will put about v equals to first the derivative of y later that we do first the derivative for the both side of this one in here you got about dv over ds equal to second derivative of y. So this one we change by v. This one we change by this one. Now I will put number 12 go to the right. So we have v and first derivative of v so we can use about interwriting factor so we can use about mu s equals to e to the power of the interwriting we have negative number 7 next to v And we have e to the power of negative 7s. That means we need to multiply both sides by this one. Now we can put the interactions for the both sides. So we can apply about the product rule of the derivative. So we have first the derivative of y equals to first the derivative of u multiplied by v plus first the derivative of v multiplied by u. So if we look carefully about this one, this is about first the derivative of u multiplied by v negative number 7 with e to the power of negative 7s that's about first the derivative of v and this is about u if we do this interaction you got about y equals to uv that means this one we have v multiplied by this one in here the interaction of this one that is about e to the power of negative 7s over negative number 7 and we put about c now negative number 12 divided by negative number 7 next we need to divide both sides by this one So this one we can write into CE to the power of 7S. And we know that V that is about 
first derivative of y. Now, we can put the integration for the both sides. The integration of this one you got about y. The integration of 12 over 7, you got about 12 over 7 s. This one we have e to the power of 7 s over 7. And I will put about d, that's about another constant in here. Now we have the conditions. So, about the, this one, that's about this one. So I will put number 0 cone here. So you got about number 1. So we have 12 over 7 plus C. And we have number 13 in here. And then we can find the value of C. That is about 79 over 7. Next. We have the second one. So we have these conditions in here. So I will put number 0 and number 0 in here. See, we have this one. So we can find about this. So we put this one going here. And we have 79 over 49 because we have number 7 and number 7 in here. And we put about D. So we have this one, that's it about number 4. So we can find about the value of D. So we put this one, go to the left. So D, that is about 117 over 49. Now after we find C and D, we put this one going here. This is the end. Thank you for watching.